Hello and welcome back to our third half hour segment. Yes, our third. First, second, third, fourth. So numeros, numeros ordinales. Numeros cardinales. One, two, three, four. Ordinal numbers, first, second, third, fourth. And remember, when you talk about the dates, las fechas del año, you always use ordinal numbers. January the 1st, February the 2nd, March the 3rd, April the 4th. Okay, and this is the third half-hour segment of this program, which means we still have an hour left. We still have an hour to go. We still have a lot of things to do. We still have a lot of very productive learning to guarantee for you. And it's my job to do it. It's my job to transmit English to you, to convey the language to you, and to convey motivation, passion, to make you feel happy learning English. And if you feel happy learning English, this language, my language, is no longer odioso, horrible, horrendo. No, my language becomes more attractive, more attractive. And then the learning process changes and the verbs and the nouns and the prepositions and the adjectives and the adverbs and the conjunctions, yes, they don't seem so bad anymore and they seem much easier to learn. So. Let's continue. Are you ready? And, to, uh, and the, I have with me, sitting on my left, a very good friend, and pr I have problems with her. Her English is bordering perfection, and I can't find lagunas, agujeros, says he in English. I can't find any holes in her English. But lo voy a intentar. I'm going to try. Okay? Between you and me, between you and me, let's work on her phonetics, little things about pronunciation. Okay, but I'm going to try it. Jesus, how are you? Fine, thank you. It's good to see you again. I'm glad to be back. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's been a long time. Long Do you time remember the song? See. It's been a long time, now I'm coming back home. Ask me if I like to sing on television. Do you like to sing on television? Television, kiss. Television. 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 Yeah, television, uh, why not? <laughs> Ask me how many lives I, I live. How many lives do you live? I only have one life to live. So can you imagine living all your life and never, not even once, singing on television in front of a million people? <laughs> you know? <laughs> I can imagine, yes. yes. Do you think someday you will sing in, on television in front of a million people? Well, if somebody puts uh, their money... On the on table? The, yes then maybe I will uh, say yes. <laughs> All right, but I'm not being paid big money to do this. Yes, um, yes, but that's because you are very brave and because you sing well. I don't sing well. You don't? No. Ask me if I would sing more often if I knew how to sing better. Would you sing more often if you knew how to sing better? Of course, my God, <laughs> if I knew how to sing better, said you piss out. I would be singing all the time, <laughs> singing English, because it's easier to, to learn English if you sing it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, for example, if I want to teach beginners, say, this is a pen, it's not a microphone, this is a cup, and it contains water. It would be much easier. Mm -hmm. And we can, like, for example, when you learn the multiplication tables, dos por dos son cuatro. Yeah. Do you understand? Yes. It Why helps not? you to remember. Of yeah. course. Mm -hmm. This is a pen, it's not an elephant, this is a microphone, it's not a book. <laughs> we have a song already. <laughs> All right. I have, there are two books in front of me, but there aren't any elephants. Okay. <laughs> we can make up one. Why not? Yes. <laughs> okay. We can, pr to practice the B, for example, you never say, Maria Jesus nunca dice bien la B, ni la V. O sea, dice algo en medio que, que no, <laughs> no agrada a nadie. All right. For example, uh, how do you say cochecito de niño? Pram. Pram, that's British. <laughs> <laughs> buggy or carriage. Baby buggy. A buggy. Baby buggy. Baby buggy. Mm -hmm. Baby right. buggy. How do you say de goma or de caucho? Uh, rubber. Rubber. And how do you say parachoques? Bumper. Okay. Parachoques, si hay cada lado. Bumpers. Bumpers. So, imagina, parachoques de goma. Para un cochecito de niños. Rubber bumpers. Rubber baby. Blah, blah. El cochecito es baby, a baby buggy. Yes. A baby buggy. A baby buggy's bumper. No. Baby buggy bumpers. Baby buggy bumpers. Yeah. ¿Y de qué tipo? Rubber. Rubber. 
Baby buggy. Baby buggy bumpers rubber. No, rubber <laughs> Rubber <Alfino>. bunkers. <laughs> Listen to me. <laughs> bunkers and bunker. You're going off bunkers, on the... Bunkers, yes. <laughs> rubber... Ba- <laughs> Es un drama lenguas. Necesito right. concentración. Rubber baby buggy bumpers. Say it. Rubby, rubber. B- rubber baby buggy bunkers. bumpers. Bumpers. And why do you close your eyes when you're <laughs> <To> saying? Concentrate. <laughs> okay. All right. Now imagine. Mm-hmm. Okay. A beautiful, like you, just pushing a baby buggy. Mm-hmm. And I fall in love with her. Said she's my baby. Mm-hmm. There's also a baby in the, and so you call her. I uh, say to her, "You're my rubber baby buggy bunker bumper baby." Okay, <laughs> you're my rubber baby buggy bumper baby. You're my rubber baby rubber baby buggy bumper baby. That's it. And so you can make a song. You can say, "You're my rubber baby buggy bumper baby." You're my rubber baby buggy bumper baby. It's easy. <laughs> you're my rubber baby buggy. You're my rubber baby buggy. You're my rubber baby buggy bumper baby. <laughs> and you practice that, and you will never have problems with the B. Right. La B. Mm-hmm. There's a second possibility, and it's to sing the old song by the, um, ah, what's the name of the group? Beach Boys. You remember? Yeah. Yes. Ba, 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 <laughs> ba, ba, baran. <laughs> that sounds easier. <laughs> yeah. But it's less challenging. Yes. <laughs> all right? And probably not as good. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to write a song about la nena que va empujando la cochecito con parachoques de goma. So <laughs> she's right. my rubber baby buggy bumper. I can't, say, <laughs> I can't say it myself. But in any case, I will write it for you, mm-hmm. and you will practice <clears throat> it. Okay. I will, I promise. All right, ask me what time I got up this morning. What time did you get up this morning? I got up at 20 minutes to 6. Ask me what time, ask me what would have happened if my alarm hadn't gone off. What would have happened if your alarm hadn't gone off? Yeah, what would have? What would have happened if your alarm hadn't hadn't uh, gone off? I would have overslept. <laughs> yeah. Ask me when the last time was I overslept. When was the last time you overslept? Four or five years ago was the last time I overslept. Mm-hmm. All right. And um, ask me what I would have done if I had overslept. What would you have done if you had overslept? I would have gotten angry. Ask me if I would have gotten angry with myself. Uh, Would you have gotten angry with yourself? No. Ask me who I would have gotten angry with. Who would you have gotten angry with? My poor wife. (laughs) I would say, why didn't you wake me up? (laughs) That's not fair. And ask me what she would have said to me. What? would she have said to you? said, well, I'm not your keeper. I don't set your alarm clocks. Ask me how many alarm clocks I use. How many alarm clocks do you use? I use two alarm clocks. Ask me why. Why do you use two alarm clocks? Uh, I need a backup system, all right? You know, on computers, they have those backup. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They have backup systems, so I use a backup system. Ask me if either of them is connected to the electric current. Is either of them uh, connected to the electric current? You're going to lose your voice in this class. I think class. so, yes. Drink some water. <clears throat> Come on. All right. Are you better now? Yes. Okay, neither of them is connected to the electric current. Mm-hmm. Ahora los nativos dirían, y yo soy nativo, y lo digo yo, neither of them are connected. Mm-hmm. We say ni el uno ni el otro están conectados. Mm-hmm. Pluralizamos, pero está mal. Mm-hmm. So we are on television, and I'm an English teacher. I need to be a purist. Mm-hmm. Okay, so neither of them is, a, is connected electric current. Okay, one of them is my telephone. Ask me what the other one is. Uh, uh, which is the other one? What's the uh, other one? What's the other one? The other one is a simple little... Alarm clock. Alarm clock. All right. And which one uh, rings uh, earlier? Which one goes off first or yes. rings first? Yes. My telephone. Uh-huh. Okay. Mm-hmm. Ask me how often, ask me if I turn off the other one when I turn off my telephone. Do you turn off the other one when you turn off your telephone? Uh, yes, I do. Mm-hmm. But ask me what happens when I forget to do it. What happens when you forget to do it? Yes. <laughs> your wife won't... No, no. It rings. It, oh, yes. <laughs> it rings. Yes. yes. Ask, me if, ask me if my alarm clocks wake up my wife. Uh, do your alarm clocks wake up your wife? I don't think so. She's I think used she's to used it. to it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah. It's like my father. My father, for several years, 
uh, lived near a train track where the train passed every day at five o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. It was the train was always uh, punctual, mm -hmm. and about five o three, cinco y tres minutos, the train passed very loud, mm -hmm. about fifty meters mm -hmm. from the window where my father was sleeping in the middle of the night, and he got used to it. Okay, mm -hmm. one morning it didn't pass. And he woke up saying, what was that? <laughs> right. Is that true? What do no. you think? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. I simply make up stories. <laughs> All right. Ask me if my father really slept near the train tracks. Uh, did your father really sleep near the train tracks? Well, it depends on your definition of near. He slept about 400 meters mm -hmm. from the train tracks. And in going through that town, the train always because the, there were crossings, and even in the middle of the night. Mm -hmm. So you could hear it. Yeah. Ask you where the train was going. Where was uh, the train going? It was going to Granite Mountain. Granite, Granite Mountain. 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 Yes. Mountain. 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 Tú te decías antes montaña y nadie te lo ha corregido. Mountain. Mountain. Yes. Ask me where Granite Mountain is. Where Granite Mountain is. ¿Me lo preguntas? Where is Granite Mountain? Uh, it's near, it's next to Marble Falls. Mm -hmm. Cataratas de Marmol. Marble, Marble Falls. falls. Uh, there's a river uh -huh. that passes through that has some falls. It's very pretty. Uh -huh. it's, an, it's an interesting because there isn't any marble in that area of Texas. Mm -hmm. Marmol. Um, there isn't. There's the granite. Uh -huh. I don't know why it's called, it should be called Granite Falls. Yes. But Granite Mountain is a big mountain made of granite. Uh -huh. And uh, maybe 150 years ago, they started to use the granite, the quarries, and it's still it's for another 200 years. Mm -hmm, okay. Mm -hmm. And the Capitol building in Austin, Texas is built from that granite. Mm -hmm. It's a type of red granite. Mm -hmm. Very pretty. And the train was built specifically to go from the granite mountain to the center of Austin, Texas to build the Capitol. Uh -huh. And so it was part of this logistics <laughs> for building it. And it passed about 400, 300 meters, not 400, from my father's bedroom window. Mm -hmm. And asked me if I ever slept in that room. Uh, did you sleep? Did now, you, have you ever slept? Have you ever slept in that room? Yes, I have, when mm -hmm. I was a little boy. Mm -hmm. Okay, so my, both of my alarm clocks uh, were set, but only one of them went off. Ask me why the other one didn't go off. Why uh, did the other one? Why didn't? Why didn't the other one go off? Because I turned it off. Ask me what would have happened if I hadn't turned it off. What would have happened if you hadn't turned it off? Turned it off. 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 No. Diddy. Diddy. Turned it. Turned it. Turned it. Turned it. No. Dit. Dit. Puedes decir dit. Dit. Puedes decir turn. Turn. Turn dit. Turn dit. Good. Ahí está. Todos los todos los días giro lo giro lo 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 doy una una vuelta. Every day I turn it. Repeat. Every every day I turn it. Good. Yesterday I turned it. Yesterday I turned it. No es una T es una D. Turned it. Turned it. Turned it. Turn it. Turn debt. Turned it. ¿Cómo se dice deuda? Deuda en inglés. Debt. Debt. No hay no hay B. B. No. Debt. Debt. Turn debt. Turn it. No. Girar deuda. Turn debt. No, no. T girar. El, el infinitivo, por favor. Turn. 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 No, turn. Termina en N. Turn. You're not listening to me today, mm, Marisus. Yeah. Turn. 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 Ahora deuda. Debt. Ahora, manténlos separados. Turn. Debt. Turn. No, turn. Turned. No. <laughs> ¿Puedes decir T-U-R-N? Turn. 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 Ok. Turn. Turn. No, turned. Turn. Ok. Turn that. Turned, turned it. Ok. For tomorrow. Ok. <laughs> Sorry. Turned it on. I turned it on. I turned it off. I turned it up. I turned it down. I turned it in. I <laughs> turned it over. I turned it around. Cuando hablas en mira, turn. To turn. Mm -hmm. Ok. Now, subir el volumen es turn it up. Ayer subí el volumen. I turned it up. Lo subí. 
Repeat, I turned it up. I turned it up, turn it up. No oyes mi la D, turned. la explosión tremenda de la D en mi boca. I turned it up. I turned it up. Did up. Did up. Do a di 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 dum di di do. Do 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 do. Cuando hacemos los niños metralletas. Ditto. I turned it up. I turned it down. I turned it over. I turned it around. Lady, lady, la vuelta ayer. I turned it around. Repeat. I turned it around. No. Okay. Not on television, but we're, we need a phonetics right. class. Serious phonetics class on the D, mm -hmm. on the Y, on the J, <laughs> many others. on the V, <laughs> on the B, and many things. Mm. All right? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, <laughs> if I hadn't turned it off, it would have gone off. Mm -hmm. Now, to go off is estallar, pero también es cuando un despertador suena. Porque es como un estallido para la sensibilidad humana cuando duerme. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Uh, yes, I, I, and I, but I turned it off in time. Ask me if I have ever forgotten to turn off the second alarm clock. Have you ever forgotten to turn off the second alarm? Yes, I have, several times. Ask mm -hmm. me what happens. What happens? It goes off. Mm -hmm. Ask me how much later it goes off. How much later um, does it go off? It goes off, or it rings, five minutes later. And ask me what I say to myself. What do you say to yourself? Said, oh my God, I forgot to turn off the other one. And I have to get up. <laughs> ask me if it irritates me. Uh, does it irritate you? Yes, it does. Ask me why. Why does it irritate you? Because I'm sitting in a very comfortable couch mm -hmm. with a coffee that's practically full and I need to get up without spilling the coffee to go turn off that beep, 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 and, and thinking that my wife is going to wake up. Mm -hmm. All right, ask me if I have ever spilled the coffee for that reason. Have you ever uh, uh, spilled the coffee for that reason? For that or for that? That reason. Uh, dices muy bien la de cuando no la quiero. <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing personal. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think I've ever spilled coffee for that reason. Mm -hmm. Ask me if I've ever spilled coffee. Have you ever spilled coffee? Yes, I have. Ask me, what's the most, ask me what the most common reason is for spilling coffee. What's the most, most common reason uh, for spilling coffee? I fall asleep. Yeah. Yeah, and you spill the coffee. Well, you see... When in the morning. When, yeah, when I, get up, when I get up in the morning, uh -huh. I, uh, the coffee's ready, mm -hmm. and I pour myself an American-style coffee. In the morning, first thing in the morning, how do you say a primera hora? First thing in the morning. First thing in the morning, I prefer American coffee, mm -hmm. the style. Lot, mm -hmm. it's about this much. And I'm very sleepy. Mm -hmm. And I sit down on a couch, and I watch the news on TV. All mm -hmm. right, Spanish and American news. And sometimes I'm very sleepy, and I have it in my hand, I'm not on a table, you understand? Yes. And, shoo, and I spill it. I usually spill it back and it's hot. So <laughs> and then wait, you it wake wakes up. up. <laughs> it wakes me up. The, th the third second, uh, the third system of alarm. Yeah, it's the third <laughs> alarm clock. All right, so I don't oversleep. So ask me if I left home a little late this morning. Did you leave home a little late this morning? I left home, not late, but I left home later than I usually do. Uh, ask me how much later I left. How much later did you leave? I left 10 minutes later than usual. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ask me why. Why did you leave 10 minutes later than usual? Usual? Usual. 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 I left 10 minutes later than usual because I didn't need to go to the normal, my normal destination. Mm -hmm. uh, usually I need to be somewhere at 7.30 in the morning. Mm -hmm. uh, and I have to be punctual. I can't arrive or I can't be late. I can't arrive late. Uh, this morning I didn't need to go there, but I wanted to take advantage of the free time to go to my office and to uh, catch up on some work. Mm -hmm. I'm a little behind. Ask me how far behind I am. How far behind are you? About 20 years behind. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I went to my office. Ask me what time I got to my office. What time uh, did you get to your office? I got to my office at uh, 20 minutes to 8. Mm -hmm. Ask me if there was anybody there. Uh, was anybody there? Uh, yes, the cleaning lady was there. Mm 
-hmm. asked me if she was shocked to see me. <laughs> was, uh, was she shocked to see you? Yes, because she never sees me there at that time, okay? Asked me if she was cleaning. Was she cleaning? Yes, she was. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she was. All right, and asked me if, if it was a productive morning for me. Was it a productive morning for you? Yes, it was. Good. I got a few things behind me. Mm -hmm. You understand? Ya está. Right. Esto fuera. So now to you get, are... Oh, sorry. Well, to get things behind you, to put... To, for example, it's very important for me to adelantar este micrófono. Mm -hmm. Because I, I think mi trabajo es ir adelantando el micrófono. So I get this microphone, I put it behind me. And we, literally, I finally put this microphone behind me. And now to the next one. Yes. So to put things behind you, means adelantar mm -hmm. esas cosas, mm -hmm. ponerlos atrás. Mm -hmm. So we say the same idea, but from but a different... India, yeah. Yeah, instead of, instead of going around it, <laughs> to, or to get ahead of it, we put it behind us, uh -huh. all right? To uh -huh. put those things behind you. Okay, so ask me, if, ask me if I would have gotten angry if I had overslept this morning. Uh, would, have you gotten, would you? Would you have gotten angry if you had overslept this morning? Yes, I would have. Because I really wanted to uh, to get certain things behind, behind me. Behind. No, behind me. Hay que poner un complemento. Si no, no significa nada. Uh -huh. Behind to, me. To get certain things or to put some things behind me. I behind see. you, behind uh -huh. him, behind her. Not behind. Oh, okay. Right. To get certain things behind is como retrasarlos. Uh -huh. well, I'm behind. Uh -huh. I'm behind means estoy retrasado. I'm, three, I'm two years behind on certain things I need to do. Okay? Uh -huh. I'm ahead, I'm behind. If you're in a race, there are three possibilities. You're ahead, you're behind, or you're even. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. All right, so, uh, ask me what I said to the cleaning lady when I saw her. What did you say to the cleaning See? lady? See? What know? did you say, sorry, to the cleaning lady when you saw her? I said, good morning. <laughs> ask me if I said it to her in English. Did you say it to her in English? To her? Did you say it in English? To her. Did huh? you say it to her okay. in English. Okay, her is pelo. Yeah. Her is ella. Uh huh. Hola, le, ole. I said it to her in Spanish. All right, I said it to her in Spanish. Ask me if she smiled. Did she smile? Yes, she did. Ask me if she was smiling when I saw her. Was, uh, was she smiling when you saw her? Uh, well, she's always smiling, all right. Uh, ask me if she would have smiled if I hadn't said good morning to would her. Would she have smiled if you hadn't said. Ha said good morning to her? Yeah, she would have smiled anyway. <laughs> She's a very cheerful person. Risueña. Mm -hmm. All right. She's always in a, She seems to be in a good mood all the time. Ask me if I have ever had an argument with her. Have you ever had an argument with her? No, I haven't. Okay. Ask me if I would get upset if she didn't clean my office well. Would you get upset if she didn't clean your office well? No, I wouldn't get upset. Ask me what I would do if my office were dirty. What would you do if your office were dirty? Dirty. Dirty. Third, sorry. Dirty. Dirty. Yes. Yeah, yeah. you self-rectify. <laughs> I would talk to human resources. All right. All right. I would say, look, my office is dirty, but it's very difficult for her to clean my office. Ask me why. Why is it so difficult? For her? For her to clean your office. Because it's always messy. Mm -hmm. Papers everywhere. Mm -hmm. Ask me if she moves my papers. Uh, does uh, she move your papers? Your? Your papers. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> Ask me how much of the surface is visible. How much of the uh, surfa surface is visible? Surface. Vi surface is visible. Of my uh, desk, yes. maybe about 10%. <laughs> the rest is covered by things, okay? Ask me how much time we have left. How much time do we have left? Just one minute. All right. Ask me what we would do if we had more time left. What would uh, we do if we had more time left? Well, we would do a lot of things. Maybe translation lists or inverse translations or mastering the interrogative. Mm -hmm. But we don't have any time. We're going to say goodbye. But nevertheless, uh, ask me if I have ever rebelled against the floor technician. Have you ever rebelled against the floor technicians? No, technician, technician, there's only one. Sorry. His name is Marco. Yes, right. He's over there. Uh, no, I've never rebelled. No soy rebelde, I see. I've never rebelled against the floor technician. What he says goes. <laughs> ¿Cómo se dice eso en español? Eh, lo, que lo que él dice, dice va a misa. Va a misa. Okay, decimos en inglés, lo que él dice va. 
pero vosotros incluís la misa. Okay. <laughs> what what he says goes. So I have to say goodbye to you, but not to you. I'll be back in five minutes. You have permiso. Permiso concedido durante cinco minutos. De vuelta enseguida, okay? I'll be right back. Thank you. Ahora. <laughs>